Hi everyone, Ariel with Ariel Paints. Today is gonna be a haul video, but it's gonna be a like grand haul video because for the last couple weeks I've been on kind of like a purchasing spree and I have ordered from everywhere. I've ordered some stuff from Silly Farm, from the face painting shop, from facepaint.com, and my uh, true love of all time, Amazon, because I can get everything from Amazon and I always find the best stuff there. So I've purchased a lot of kind of random stuff and some staples and some things that I'm really falling in love with. So I thought I would do kind of an overall big haul video and show you guys all the different things. Now it's only a few things from each place so I hope this won't get too long but there's some cool stuff I want to show you guys. So stay tuned and I will get into it. Okay, so let's start with one of my favorite companies, the Face Painting Shop in the UK. They're pink tip brushes. You guys probably know how much I love them. I got some more staple flat brushes, but they have new brushes that I just had to try. So I purchased some of my favorite flat brushes and then one of the new number six round pointed brushes, and I used it once and turned around and got a second order from the Face Painting Shop. If you guys struggle with teardrops or line work, oh my goodness, there's something about that pointed round in the shape. It is just amazing. If you struggle doing drop teardrops where you start on the thinner line and then go down, you know what I'm talking about? Instead of starting thicker and going thinner, like the drop teardrops that you do for a mask or something like that, if you struggle with those, this brush will make them so much easier for you. My drop teardrops, I avoid doing them because I think they look like little swimmers, if you know what I mean, and I don't like it. Um, I did them with the number six pointed round and was like, where has this brush been my whole life? So I had to order more. So that's two orders from the face painting shop. So I ended up getting the number four as well because I liked the six so much. So that became like an immediate favorite. Absolutely love it. I'm going to throw this stuff down here. I also got uh, the large petal brush. I've never owned this one from the face painting shop, but I have a chameleon large petal brush that is so old, like eight years old, and it is starting to fray. And this looks, I haven't even tried it yet. I took it out of the packaging though. This looks really, really comparable, so I'm excited to try that. And then I want to share with you guys, I'm kind of throwing stuff all over here. Sorry. I want to share one of my newer favorite face painting shop brushes. It's the three quarter inch flat regular brush. So I use the short angled and just the regular short a lot and it will always be one of my favorite brushes. But this longer bristled brush has a lot of movement to it. So when you're trying to do really whimsical flowers or like big whimsical strokes or for butterflies where you really want those bristles to kind of move um, and flow really easily, I'm really, really enjoying using this. And I was at a job a couple weeks ago and I kept cleaning my one brush. I only had one of these out. I kept cleaning it and loading it again and again and realized that I was starting to favorite so I needed more. So I got about three more of those so that I can keep playing with them on the job. So thank you. Everyone knows I love my pink tips. Great company, The Face Painting Shop, so go check them out. Another thing I got from The Face Painting Shop is pretty uh, simple, but I needed a new little water sprayer. And um, they had a few to choose from. I picked just the basic small one. So this is great. It has a little cap so it won't leak in my craft and go. So I got one of those. I also got from the face painting shop a couple of my favorite boards. I got another larger Sally Ann Lynch one and this one is a stack of three tall and four wide faces of a cute little boy's face. Um, I love these. I love them to practice on, but I love them even more for specific events to paint and then display when it's a very specific theme. Um, so I wanted one that had a few more faces on it and a few more options. So I grabbed one of those while I was ordering things from the face painting shop. And then I'm so excited about this. I got one with Daisy. I love this profile specifically of her face going this way because it's like 
The side of the face, you never get to paint on these boards. So not only is Daisy beautiful, and I had wanted one of these boards to, to play with and try, but I thought this would be a really, really nice one to do eye designs on, and then even do some like decolletage designs or like necklace designs on. Um, so really excited. Now I get to look at Daisy's face. How fun is that? So excited about these boards too, and I even want more of them, but I'm trying to be conservative and not buy like 20 at a time. Uh, so, and I haven't tried any of her skin tone boards yet. I have a lot of the totally translucent ones that I use all the time, and I have a couple of the black ones that I like very much, but I have not tried one of the skin tone ones, and I know she's coming out with even more, so I wanted to give it a go and see how I like it. So I will paint up Daisy very soon, and I'll share it with you guys on Instagram, okay? And then another thing I got, which I was on the fence about, there are these little glitter applicators. Uh, this is from the face painting shop. They had a bunch of different colors. I picked teal because it's one of my favorite colors. And I've never, I don't know if you guys have seen them, but they have the longer ones. I don't know if they're from the face painting shop or Silly Farm or where, but I've seen the longer ones where they have kind of like a big plastic applicator that's a little bit larger. And I've never liked those. They are too clunky for me, so I wanted to try this because I thought maybe I'd have more control over it, and it's thin, and I really, really do like them. So I actually have some glitter here. Oh, look. Okay, so this is the American um, Glitter Cream, which I'm actually going to talk about later. This one is Orion, which I called Orion in a video a little bit ago. So sorry. It was just one of those days, I guess, that I couldn't read and didn't know how to spell Orion. Oops. Um, anywho, so I'm really liking these because you can kind of scrape just a little bit of glitter off of them and then just run it right over your design or on top of paint or on the side of a child's face. And I'm not dipping my fingers in as much. And you can even spread it out. And since they're nice and rounded and soft, it doesn't hurt or feel weird or anything. Um, I was noticing that I was using my finger with the glitter creams. And then I would wipe my uh, finger off on my towels, you know, all day at an event. And by the end, I kind of had glitter everywhere. And I felt like, one, I was wasting it. Two, between all the kids, my, my hands were dirty. And I always am trying to find ways to make my setup and my face painting more fluid and less messy or time-consuming. And that was something in my last gig that was bothering me. Um, so I think this came in like a pack of 10 or something. So I put about five in my kit for a gig last week. Loved using them, worked out great, exactly what I needed. So thank you, big fan of these little guys. Okay, so let's move on to the couple things I got from facepaint.com. I was actually struggling to find a couple things. Wound up on facepaint.com and what I was looking for was Global Iceland, which is a really pretty blue cake that I'm obsessed with and it is out everywhere and I can't find it. So I did find a fusion cake uh, one stroke called Snow Queen that looks a lot like it. So I'm going to replace my um, other cake with this and see how it works. For now, I've just repaired my Iceland cake with another like blue in the center. So I'm going to keep using what I have until I get to switch to this, but I really like Fusion, so I think this will be good. Now, when I was on facepaint.com site getting this Fusion one stroke, I couldn't help but take a look at all of their Craze products. So Craze is a new face painting brand and product, and I believe it is um, being made by the owners of facepaint.com. And one of the coolest things about the entire line is that some of their one strokes and their larger rainbow cakes are domed. So hopefully you can see this. If you guys ever saw my how to dome your split cakes video, you'll have seen where I take a worn down um, cake and cut it and kind of flip it over and dome it. Um, I will put that video up here so you guys can take a look at it if you want. Well, this 
is supposedly going to solve the problem we all have where cakes get worn out in the middle, right? So it is domed, which is incredibly appealing, and I'm so curious to try this. I haven't even used it yet, obviously. Um, this kind of is going to serve two purposes for me. One, I really want to try it out and just uh, see what the pain is like. Um, it looks like really good quality so far, but until you try it, you don't know. Um, I've seen good reviews on it so far, though, so I have every faith that it'll be fine. Um, the other thing I needed was my Tag Magpie, which are these colors. I use it on every job. I love that cake, and I couldn't find that anywhere either, so I was just striking out. So when I saw this, this is Shark by Craze very similar to the magpie so I have my gray one stroke back that I needed and I get to try out the domed so I will let you guys know um, I will definitely try this probably tomorrow at uh, one of uh, have a big festival I'm doing so I'll bring it with me and give it a try and then hopefully use it in a video if I like it and show you guys but really really excited that a company has finally figured out how to dome one strokes I mean it, it solves such a huge problem. Their uh, rainbow cakes look interesting too because they're a little shorter than some of the longer rainbow cakes we have. So they almost seem like they're more of a perfect square, which would actually kind of fit in cases and fit sponges better. So very curious to try this out more, but I didn't need that much stuff. So I didn't want to go too crazy and I figured I'd just start with one. So let me know if you guys have used craze yet and what you think. I'm super curious. So those were the only things I got from facepaint.com, but if I like craze, I will probably end up going back for more. Okay, let's move on to Silly Farm. Um, Silly Farm also has a great selection and I go there often for glitter specifically. I really always like the glitter they have in stock. Um, so I got more of the American Body Art Glitter Creams. I got Venus, Capricorn, Galaxy, and Supernova. I am seeing a theme now with the Orion. Oh, Lord. Um, it's so embarrassing, but oh well. So really, really loving the glitter creams. I got these just to sample. So I got the smaller size. They do come in a bigger size too. Um, the Stardust I've had for a while. I got it at Fabaic and I'm in love with it. So the glitter creams, as a reminder, are more of a wax base opposed to a gel base. So they can go over your face paint designs and you don't have to be as careful as you're going around the edges. So far, I like all of them. I think Capricorn, though, is my favorite. I just keep going back to it. I think the biggest difference is it has um, a lot of different sizes of glitter in it. So when you put it on a kid's face and design, it just looks amazing. I used it for mermaids and unicorns last week, and it was so pretty. So far, that is is definitely a, a huge winner for me. Um, but they're all beautiful, easy to apply, and I really like them. And I do find Silly Farm always has a really good um, selection of them. If you've noticed, I do put my magnet on the top so that when I have it on my case, whether it's down in my case or on the lid of my case, I can see what color it is and I have the bottom sticking out and then the top which is black has the magnet on it so loving those I also went ahead and grabbed fairy blossom from Nat's collection which is the gold collection I really love her one strokes blue wren is one of my all-time favorites I could not live without it I recently got fern and really really loved fern so much that I thought okay I should try one more so I got the fairy blossom I did use it last weekend just once um, I can't even remember what I used it for maybe a butterfly but anyways very pretty and I love all of her one strokes so that's really all I got from silly farm glitter and a new one stroke from Nat's collection
Okay, so Billy joined me for our next segment. I'm gonna tell you guys about my business cards and where I got them and show them to you. This is actually the second order of business cards that I've done from this company. The company is Moo, M-O-O. -O. They do really cool printed projects. They do a lot of variable data and foiled product, which is not something you can typically get in business cards. So they go above and beyond and they really do cooler business cards. So do you want to open one of those and show them? So this is the box that comes in. They do come in these really awesome like turned edged boxes with a ribbon and like the old school wax stamp. So the presentation of them is kind of amazing. Um, I will say that on my second order, I kind of was like, ah, oh, they could have just sent them to me in a cardboard box at this point. Go ahead and open it, sweetie. Um, but it is beautiful packaging. They are higher end business cards. They're not your typical business cards. Um, you can go online and just design them yourself, which is what I did. I uploaded some photos. I picked the card stock and everything that I wanted and ordered them and they were here three days later. So super easy. I would recommend checking them out if you need new business cards. So Billy is going to go ahead and open up the box. So that's the ribbon and go ahead and hold it into the camera and open it up. So this is the turned edged box they come in and I got quite a few different designs. So when I say variable data, if you guys have ever worked in printing or know anything about printing, typically when you print a business card, you can only do one picture or one design. So they allow you to do variable data, which means multiple photos multiple designs, you could have a card for your balloon twisting and your face painting, or switch it up with multiple different things. So I have the same thing, Let's see if I can, if you can see this. I just have my logo and it says events, instruction, YouTube tutorials, Arial paints at gmail.com um, on my card. So it says that on one side and then I loaded a bunch of different photos so that I could have different pictures. I have just a headshot. I have my dragon. I've got butterflies, all sorts of different photos. Now they are square, of course. And then I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but the edges are pink because pink is one of my signature colors for my logo and for my business. So I really, really love these. I think they're so cool. And I designed them so that hopefully people will throw this up onto their refrigerator because it's a picture and that they won't get rid of my card. I have gotten a lot of good feedback from clients with these two. They think they're cool. And if you wanna put everything on your business cards, like all your <laughs> Billy slowly slipping away. <laughs> Bye, I love you. <laughs> So if you want to put everything on your business cards, that's fine. Go for it. I personally don't. You know, people know how to find me. I have a very distinctive name. They remember it. And I don't want people really calling me. I'd rather them email me. So I have really, really limited information. Um... I don't think it's necessary to say that I'm a face painter. If I'm handing this to someone, I'm either having the conversation with them that I'm a face painter or I just got done face painting their kid's face so they know. Um, so anyways, huge fan of Moo. This is my second order. My first order was kind of a test and a trial run. Worked out great. Love them. So these are my new business cards. Here's another random buy that I just got that I happen to be obsessed with. They're face halos. Um, that's the company name. They were created by a beauty YouTuber that I followed for a really long time. And they allow you to wash your face without getting water everywhere. So if you're a mess like I am and you end up with water running down your arms, these hold water so you run this under the water and then bring it up to your face and it's as if you're like running water over your face only it doesn't drip out i it's not something i could even explain but go youtube these and find it's chloe something i'll put a link below um because she uses them they really are amazing and they work and they get all the gunk off of your face if you paint your own face 
so amazing. You guys know I do that a lot. Um, but just if you're a makeup wearer, they're great. I really have enjoyed um, putting my like exfoliating scrubs and my soap directly onto these and using them to lather up my face too instead of my fingers. I'm a huge fan of these and I'm super into skincare. These also are supposed to kind of get into your pores and exfoliate your skin a little bit. And I've noticed my skin looks really good, partly because I hate washing my face because I make such a mess and now I'm not. So I'm washing my face like twice a day. So if you are even remotely interested in that, go check these out. I will plop that link below to either her YouTube channel or the company. Um, so you can go check these out. I am a huge, huge fan of these. I love them. Okay, so the next company is a company that I could not survive without half of the things in my life are from Amazon. I love Amazon. It makes my life easier. I travel a lot. I'm busy like all of us. And when I can order something and find it on Amazon and it arrives in two days, oh yes. And I still, I, I love going to all the different shops. You can tell from this video, I will shop at every face painting shop online that I can. And I love to support those companies. But if I know I need paint in two days, I can find it on Amazon. And I do, my white, my black, my staple tag one strokes. You guys probably know all the links to all of those products have been in my videos for years because I started out buying face paint from Amazon because it was easy. There are some other things I get from Amazon that I wanna share with you guys. One are my lipstick applicators. I get them right from Amazon. They're one of those things that I run out of quickly and then I need quickly and I can get them in two days. I will put a link to these below. They're the little doe foot applicators. They are my favorite. And I do use real liquid lipstick with my um, face paint. I don't put face paint on kids' lips for many reasons. I just don't like doing it um, and it doesn't wear well. But really love these. I can get them quickly. So I ordered more of those from Amazon in my last order. I also got this nifty black light. Um, this is a box black light with a little tripod on it. So if you're going to be doing a black light party or if you're just going to be face painting yourself, let me turn it on. You can have instant black light. Terrifying, isn't it? Um, it works really well. It's really bright. And if you are going to be doing, you know, that party scene, you can arrange it in different ways because it's on its own little tripod, which I really, really like. It is um, 60 watt. It's very bright. I can't see now because I just pointed it at my face. But I've really enjoyed using it. And I was nervous about getting it because I was trying to find a good one and I didn't really know what was a good one. But this one's really good and I like it. So I'll link that one down below as well if you want to check it out. A couple other things that I always get on Amazon are more sponges. I love the wolf sponges the most. They're my favorite and I just cut them in half. And then I, and then I also love the Krylon uh, sponges, the black ones. They are much, much more dense totally different than the wolf sponges and I use them for completely different things. Um, these are my favorite to cut actually. If you want a specific shape because they are so dense, um, these are the ones I use to cut out my unicorn horn uh, sponges because they really hold up to manipulation and like working with them in that way. So I really, really love them and I just get them on Amazon. Okay, my last Amazon buy is one that I'm probably the most excited about. It's this caution sign. I have been looking for a better way to close my line at big festivals. I saw someone using these and I thought it was brilliant. So I found a way to do it as well. I found this particular one after a lot of research on Amazon that has the replaceable section here so that I can switch out what it says. It is, of course, a caution floor sign for when the floor is wet or when something is dangerous. I love that because it already has that element of people wanting to pay attention to it. It's that caution color, so most likely they are going to read it. I particularly wanted to find one that had a removable plastic piece here so that this could be replaced and that I could switch it out, see how it works. 
I can also keep a sign behind this. So on this side, I have the stop, line is closed, and then on the other side, I have face painting is now open, um, please join the line. If I want to behind one of these put, you know, on break, be back in five minutes, or whatever else I want, I can just store it behind here, easily switch it out, and then put this in the line so that everyone knows I'm about to take a 15 minute break or whatever it is. So that was very appealing to me. Um, this is the perfect height. That's exactly the height that I wanted. It's really lightweight and easy to carry. So the event I did last weekend, I actually put this right on the bottom of my uh, director's chair where I keep my cushion. I just slipped it in there, folded my director's chair up and carried it over to my gig. So in love with this. So this being a caution sign, I do want to caution and talk to you guys about the fact that this is just a tool. This is just another way for me to physically put something out that says my line is closed. Currently, I do put like an X on kids' uh, hands. I'll ask the last person in line to kind of help me say that they're the last person in line. I've never liked doing that, but I do it because I hadn't had a better way. So now I can put some kind of physical barrier at that last person and say, face painting is now closed. That's the end of the line. I will still do those other things because I know how people are. Somebody might try to slip in front of it or they're still going to ask me to paint one more kid. So what I'm going to do at my event tomorrow is I'm going to place this at the end of the line. I'm going to mark everyone's hands with whatever I decide to mark them with and I'm going to put this at the end to show that the line is closed. I'm probably still going to have to field some of those, oh, please one more, are you really closed, <laughs> that kind of stuff. It's just another tool to help you in your fight of closing the line because anybody who works large festivals knows it's the worst part of our jobs. It's so hard to tell people no, but if I have something out there saying that I'm done, it will be that much easier. So I'm a huge, huge fan of these. They're working out really, really great for me. Um, I decided just to get the one and do open and closed on one side because I try to carry the littlest amount of things as possible. I don't want more stuff. And it, it worked out really well last weekend. So I'm gonna try it again this weekend. Um, but a lot of people were asking me for the link to this when I posted it on social media because um, I was so excited about it. So I will definitely put the link down below. I do think I got the right one and I'm really excited about it. So I hope you guys are excited about it too. I, I hope you guys liked this random haul video. Um, as you can see, I shop all over the place for face painting supplies and I get this question a lot. So when it comes down to where to buy stuff, I buy things from everywhere. Everyone has a, a focus or a brand that they highlight a little bit more and I find it hard to get everything from just one place. So my advice to you is to search all sorts of different places. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about where it's located unless shipping is a huge deal for you. I find that the shipping for most things I purchase is really minute and it's never bothered me. So I get things from all over the place. And then when I'm in a pinch, I always go to Amazon because it can get to me quickly and I'm a big Amazon customer. So again, I will put links down below to anything that I mentioned in this video that I can find or that I think would be helpful to you guys. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. And sometimes I juggle with them.